What up guys, I don't have any cool pretty shots for you guys to start the video off, no intro music, um, just clean cut. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be a deep stacked 1-3 video per usual at Bally's, the promised land, the holy land, a great place to be. Um, I hope you guys really like watching me get my ass kicked and if you're into me being in pain, you're gonna love this video. If you like what you see, drop a comment, like, subscribe, do the things, I would appreciate it. Uh, let's, just, let's just jump into it. So what's going on guys? Before we jump into it, I just wanna give some context to this session. Um, I had just sat down at Bally's about two hours earlier. I wasn't planning on filming this one, um, but it was a great table. I just got stacked for $300 in a pretty normal way. Wasn't too concerned about it. But my friend on my right, Eamon, bought in for another $1,000 after he got stacked. So he's got a big stack in front of him. And um, the guy to my left has a big stack. And it's a great table, so I buy in for $1,000. We are deep here at Bally's. But just so everybody knows, I'm gonna try and stay as positive as I can with this one. The hands toward the end are very frustrating for me and ended up making me want to take a two-week break off poker. Just normally don't get angry or upset while I play. I try to keep my cool, but this one was tough for me. So you know what, let's just jump into it. First hand starts when I look down at pocket fives. An early position raises things up to $8. Folds around with the cutoff player who makes it 25 I'm on the button and the original Razor is the type of player that's never gonna be four betting here, kind of an OMC type of guy. I'm in position, I decided to just make the flat. Original Razor also makes the call. With about $75 in the middle, the flop comes 10 jack five. So starting off pretty hot, we're flopping a set. Two spades on this one, so we do have a flush draw. I don't really know what's getting into people these days, but early position just donk over bet leads for $100. Not sure what's going on here. I guess the OMC guy saw two spades on the board, has a nice hand and just wants to uh, win the pot now, afraid of draws, I'm not really sure. Either way, um, the guy in between me and the OMC donker guy um, looks absolutely disgusted. This is the original three better. He's hemming and hawing, you know, he's not happy. He ends up making the fold. I snap, or I jam, I snap jam actually right after this guy folds for about 220 more, so total 350, 330, something like that. Guy snaps me off, so starting to think this could be a set over set situation. Turn is a six of clubs, river is a three of diamonds, so we dodge the flush. He turns over jack 10 for flop two pair. I show my set, take it down, and the other guy says he folded queens. That was some pretty valuable information from both these players I've had in the hand, and we'll get into a couple more pots with these guys. Okay, so moving on, uh, not going so bad so far. So I looked down at pocket tens, a very nice hand. So I raised things up to $12 in the under the gun position. Two people to my left make the call. The big blind ends up then three betting to 50 bucks. This is the same guy who three bet queen queen in the last hand and end up folding to one bet on the flop. I decided to just flat here with my pair. The other two players make the fold. With about $125 in the middle, the flop comes really bad for me. It's the ace of clubs, the seven of spades, and the eight of spades. Ace high flop here is definitely not what I wanna see for my exact hand or my range, but I can tell this player is pretty inexperienced mainly because he mentioned it's one of his first times playing poker and he is very uncomfortable playing deep stacked. He had around $900 in his stack. Said he ran it up from 100 to 900, so pretty good for this guy. So when he C-bets for $30, I decide I'm going to just use max aggression to potentially win this pot, especially after I saw him lay down queens on a jack high board. I raise it up to $130, immediately disgusted, immediately making noises, immediately squirming. Guys, don't do this at the poker table because if I was scared and I wasn't gonna put in another bet on the turn, I definitely am now. So he ends up making the call for the 130, and we're going to do a turn with 385 in the middle, offsuit eight, changes absolutely nothing. I was honestly hoping a spade to come in and make the spade um, draw there so I could credibly rep that. Nope, either way, I'm going for it. Villain checks to me, I keep the pressure on. I bet 250, and he tanks for about three minutes, eventually showing his hand, he has ace, king and then he mucks. I actually cannot believe I got him off. Ace king, pretty happy I did just go with my read that I can pretty much bully this guy off of any pot. I end up showing my hand to him a couple hands after. I show him a video of it to prove it to him because he didn't believe me at first. I did that because I wanted to cultivate a fun game show him, look, I'm bluffy, ha ha ha, let's play more pots together because he was a great player to have at the table, but unfortunately it kind of backfired. He ended up leaving the table <laughs> after that one and just wanted to lock up his profit. Probably shouldn't have shown him that. Either way, we want a nice one here and let's move on to the next. Okay, so moving on, here is where things take a little bit of a turn for the worst. When I looked down at 9-7 suited, I'm ready to make some stuff happen. I'm feeling pretty good at this point, um, winning two big pots. 
I have about fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars in my stack. I'm in for thirteen hundred, so really not that crazy at this point. But I raise it up to twelve dollars in another position and get immediately three bet from a very capable player. I will say on my left, um, who's also very deep. He makes it forty dollars. Folds back around to me and against this opponent, I know he's very capable of three betting light. Plus, I want to mix in some hands like these sometimes in my calling range. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what I was thinking here though because I'm out of position. Honestly, I like a four bet or a fold. I think a four bet would have been really cool against this player here. I end up just making the call. So with $80 in the middle, the flop comes 10, queen, 10, rainbow. I check and the villain C bets 30. Pretty standard. I have nothing here, so I definitely think I should fold, but he has ace high here a lot of the time. With all that thinking, I check raise it up to $90. He thinks for a while and makes the call. Actually, as I'm recording this voiceover, I realize I probably shouldn't have shown that 10-10 bluff because I think the other guy overheard our conversation and he knows I'm very capable of doing some stupid shit on the flop like this, like I just did, but it had been an hour or two in between, so uh, maybe I'm overthinking it, but either way, pot's $240 and the turn is a six, so I at least now have a gutter and I continue with the pressure. I bet 150 instantly snaps me off, which honestly scares the shit out of me. And pot's now 540. The river is a five, so I'm sitting there with literally nine high, absolutely nothing in this three bet pot. I take my time, think things over. The villain has about $650 behind. My gut says I should just ship it, over bet, rip it in there, see if he can handle it. And I was planning on doing that, but after he snapped me off on the turn, got a little bit scared. And I honestly wasn't sure if I should over bet, rip it, or just bet like 400 to 300 and leave him a couple hundred behind. Not really sure, because if he jammed, it would have been disgusting. Either way, I was a little confused at this spot and I am an absolute pussy in my heart and in my soul. I end up checking. Villain snap checks it back and says he has nothing. I say I have nothing. He rolls over ace deuce of spades for a naked ace high. Absolutely disgusted with myself. Disappointed in myself. I can't believe I did not pull that trigger and triple barrel bluff that river. Man, that would have been so sick and great for my morale. Getting triple barrel buffs through is amazing. But instead I checked like a pussy. He shows ace deuce. I lose and I immediately go on massive monkey tilt after this one. I'm not even stuck. I'm just tilted. I'm just upset at myself. Funny enough, this next hand is literally the next deal. So I will just speed it up so I can prove it to you. Watch the th cards get thrown away and then thrown to me. I look down at queen king offsuit and I'm obviously pretty upset with myself for that previous hand. I feel like an absolute loser for not being able to follow through with my bluffs. I don't know what got into me. Um, I usually do that and I usually end up losing massive ones because of it but when I um, should be doing it, I guess I end up losing big ones because I can't do it. Pretty tilted, as you can tell. And I probably look a little spewy, a little tilted. So when I race things up to 12 bucks, the donkey OMC guy from the first hand ends up three betting me up to $26. And then an absolute insane player who I've been trying to isolate and get in pots with all night makes the call. So therefore, with my image, I don't think people are taking my race seriously. It's a min raise and there's this guy in the pot, man. It's a slam dunk call. Flop comes queen seven five with one diamond. Pretty good flop for me. Initial raiser checks, middle position player checks, checks all the way to me. I feel like I now have the green light to start betting with my top pair good kicker. I bet 25 bucks. Uh, both players make the call. Now with about $153 in the middle, the turn comes an eight of diamonds, um, bringing a diamond backdoor flush draw. And once again, it checks to me. I bet out about half pot, assuming I'm good here a lot of the time, but both players make the call. Alarm bells are kind of going off here. Pot's now $378 and the river is a deuce of diamonds completing the diamond draw. This is where things get a little bit weird. So far it's been standard. Early position, the three better checks here. The middle position player then jams all in. I think it's an over bet for about $400, uh, basically pot. I'm just sitting here like what the actual fuck is going on? Did the flush draw get here? The dude who has been insane showing down every hand as a bluff pretty much every two seconds. He's been getting in every single pot basically. Um, I know he's bluffing like pretty much 100% of the time, but the OMC behind me, the donkey guy, I know it's a little bit of a, a weird thing to call an OMC a donkey, but it's it's weird. I don't I don't know. OMC donkey, he's first of his kind. I just kind of feel like this guy has been, been holding on to a monster. Like he has aces or kings and he's been trying to trap or slow play. And now that the diamonds came in, he just has no idea what to do. Either way, very, very scary for me to have this guy behind. Really don't know what to do here. I tank for quite a while actually in this spot because I, I know I'm good here against the guy who jammed. The guy behind is just so scary. I end up folding 
a very strong hand. And then the other guy goes in the tank, the OMC Donk, and he he takes even longer than I do. And he's hemming and all. He's like, do you really have diamonds? Oh my God. Thinks for about five minutes and almost makes the fold, but eventually just calls with queen, queen. So he flopped top set and I cannot believe he slow played the shit out of it and then put himself into this position where he almost folded it. The other guy had ace five, I believe, for a pair of fives and a complete bluff. Okay, so obviously I lost two big ones in a row, um, so that doesn't feel great, but everything is about to change when a very interesting dude sits down at the table. He's got some weird sunglasses on. I feel like he's trying to look like a pro, but just definitely doesn't look like a pro, like he's, he's acting. I don't know. Not really sure what this guy's doing. And I come to find out that he wanted so badly to give me all this money, and he really tried so hard, so props to that guy for trying, but I just couldn't take the money from him. I just, he would just jam in the most interesting and terrible spots, in my opinion. Opinion, and uh, I just couldn't I couldn't win his money like this hand for example action starts with me looking down at 8 8 and I raise things up in early position to $12 the punter I just described three bets me up to 25 so small raise and then the OMC donk guy um, from the other hands just makes the call on the button. I also end up just making the call out of position with about $75 in the middle the flop comes five of diamonds six of hearts four hearts. You know, all things considered, I have an overpair feeling pretty good. I check anyway, and then the three better just insta jams for $200 into 75. Like I said, kind of a weird spot to do so. OMC donkey gets out of the way. He folds actions back on me, and it's kind of a shit spot for me against this punter maniac, especially because I wasn't 100% sure he was a punter maniac at this time. With an overpair and a gutter, I feel like I kind of just have to make this call, and I'm probably behind sometimes. I make the call. He insta-shows king 10 of diamonds, so I'm sitting here in great shape. Turn is the six of diamonds, so massive sweat for me now. I just have to dodge a 10, a king, or a diamond, and the river is the miraculous seven of diamonds. He goes runner, runner, flush, and what an absolute punch to the dick after making somewhat of an epic call for me. I had 73% favor um, on that flop, and um, I would proceed to turn my phone off and lose a couple of medium and big pots against this same exact guy in pretty much the same exact fashion, putting it in way ahead and then losing by the river. But I guess that's just poker for you. This might be somewhat of a hot take, but when I lose a poker hand that I feel like I should have won, um, AKA getting it in pretty good and then losing, that's more frustrating for me than when I actually like fuck up and, and make a terrible play or, or punt it off. Most people say it's the opposite. I think for me, it's because when I screw up myself, I feel like I can go home and study, get in the lab. That's something I can fix, something I can get better at. But when, when I just get crushed by the deck, it, it's it's more frustrating because I kind of feel like a hopelessness in a way. And I know it's all just variance and it, it should even out if I'm the better player in the long run, but stuff like that just kind of gets to me sometimes. So one of the reasons I had to take a break was this hand specifically. This, this hand specifically, specifically is going to haunt my soul forever. Not because it was really a big loss, it really wasn't a huge pot, but mainly because I would lose to the same punter guy I have been losing to all night. So yeah, let's start it off. I look down at pocket tens. The punter guy raises things up in early position to $10. I three bet him up to $25, kind of just wanting him to make the call so I can isolate him. The button ends up making the call. The punter guy then ends up jamming his entire stack, um, which is about $500. So 25 to $500 casual 20X four bet right in my face, right down my throat. And he has been doing this all night with just absolute shit, but I cannot beat him. I tank forever, honestly, because you know, maybe he has it this time. And uh, I feel like it's a fold against most players, but not against this guy. I make the call and he shows over a premium. He shows over queen do suited. So I'm in absolute great shape. In fact, I am 70 cent favorite once again, flop is clean for me. It's a six, a king, and a jack with no spades. So no spades can come, but the turn, the turn is a soul crushing queen. I am absolutely puking. I'm drawing to two cards. Fuck my life, the river's a four. I give this guy, I just hand him $500. I just, it's just so frustrating. You know what, I'm not proud of it, but I think I should show you guys. I kind of lose my shit a little bit. I'll let you listen to it. I fucking cannot believe that. I just can't beat this guy all night, all night. I couldn't beat this guy. It's a thousand dollar pot and that, that's a lot of money, but I've played bigger pots. I've lost more amount of money in one night, but I've never ever gotten bad beat by the same dude like three or four times in one night. What's up guys? I hope you enjoyed those hands. I just finished editing that video. Um, that session was two weeks ago, so I've already taken my two weeks off. I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling a lot better, refreshed. 
ready to go. I was playing way too much. I was playing like every day for a while there. And I think this one just got to me running, uh, running a little bad against the same guy, which uh, I didn't like that guy very much, if you can tell by the video. But either way, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I was in for 1300, the 300 I lost off camera, and then the 1000 I lost on camera. Um, so yeah, out for zero, negative 1300. Pretty epic result, as you can see. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, do the thing. Last video did really shitty, so I'm hoping this one does a little better. Um, but anyway, having fun with it, so not a big deal. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.